In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this YouTube thumbnail using a 100% free online tool. And not just that, I'm going to give you access to this template so you can use it to customize and create your own YouTube thumbnails. Hi, my name is Chris and I'm a full-time online marketer. You can check out my channel for all kinds of great videos on affiliate marketing, how to make money online and other product reviews. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the free tool called Canva to create these types of thumbnails without upgrading to the pro version. Now, some of you probably already have access to Canva. If you do, great. If you don't, that's no big deal either. Below this video, you're going to find a link in the description box that will take you where you can download this template. Once you click on the link, it's going to redirect you to a page that looks like this. It says you're invited to edit a design created by Vid Society. Start designing now. All you have to do is click Edit Design. If you're already logged into Canva, it's going to take you into the editing page. If you're not, all you have to do is click on Edit Design, and you can sign up for free with Google, Facebook, with an, or with an email address. And just as a reminder, you do not have to upgrade to the pro version to be able to do this. Okay, after that, you should see a page that looks similar to this. And now all you have to do is click on any of the elements and edit them. And I'm going to show you a few tricks you can do to make this really stand out. But what I do want to mention is that I've added additional templates to this page. So if you scroll down, you're going to notice there are more than one template. Right now, I currently have four on here you can use. All you have to do is just click on which ones you want to edit and edit them. When you're ready to download, just click on the download button. Come down to choose select pages. Choose which thumbnail you want to download and click done. Now first, Canva has a ton of features, a lot of options, and a lot of different things that you can do with this tool other than creating YouTube thumbnails. Don't get overwhelmed with them. Just stick to the basics with what I'm showing you and you're going to have your first thumbnail created within a matter of just a few minutes. So the first thing you want to do is click in this text and change it to whatever you want it to say. Everything is adjustable and the colors can be changed as well as the fonts and different effects. So double click in the text box and you can see that the letters highlight or you can just click in here and you can see where the cursor is at you can highlight it you can delete everything or just start typing so for this example let's say we're we're making a YouTube video about health food so what I can do here is eat healthy in 2021 and then down here maybe I want it to say something else we'll say get fit fast okay now you'll notice I also have an image over here. Now the way I got this image was from a website called nonscandinavia.com. I will put this link below the video also. And what you want to do is go under the cutout section. And this is where they are actual images of people, but what they done was they kind of cartoonized them. So you can't actually see who they are. Therefore you shouldn't have to worry about any kind of copyright issues with these people. So what you have to do is scroll down and then once you find one you like, for example this guy, click on him and then you want to right click on him, save image as, save him on a folder on your computer and then we'll go back here and let's say I want to uh, remove this guy, we'll hit delete. You can come over to uploads and you can upload media, click device and we're going to pick this guy and open. Now once he's uploaded here all we have to do is click on him and he gets added and then we, we can resize them by dragging the corners of the boxes just like that. Now if you want to change the colors of anything that's super easy to do. You can see as you hover over each item a little blue box highlights the section that you are going to be working on if you click in it. So if we want to change this reddish pink box to a green collar, all we have to do is make sure that it's when we hover over it, that box is selected and click on it. And then come up here to the collar and change it. And the same way it works with the box underneath. If you hover over the edges of it, you can see it close. We can click on it and we can change the color of that one as well. Now the background image this is where it gets really neat and interesting because there's so much stuff you can do with it. So what you want to do is, of course, you can always upload your own media by clicking Upload Media and have your own images here, videos, audio, and a lot of other things. But if you just want to use the files that's already here, you can go to Photos, 
and let's type in the box up here food and hit enter now because we do have the free version you're not going to have access to all the images unless you upgrade to the pro version but that's okay because normally the free version will give you enough images to choose from for example when you hover over the images you'll see in the bottom right corner it says free and so as long as you see free that means you can use it if it says pro you cannot use it unless you upgrade so what we're going to do is look for a background image that we can use for this I like this one if I click on it it's going to bring it over and put it on top now all we have to do is right click on this image and choose replace background and now we have a brand new background now to make this stand out a little more what we're going to do is click on the background again and we're going to come up to filter or no we're going to go to adjust and we're going to click on blur and we're going to drag it over a little bit so that background is blurred but we can still see that it has to do with food and so now we have a really nice thumbnail created in just a matter of a couple minutes and what you can do is you can use this template over and over again to recreate different thumbnails for whatever you need and if you don't want the image here of anyone or anything you can simply click on it you can delete it and then you can recenter everything so we can drag this over and you'll notice when we get to the middle there's a pink line that goes up and down and then we can grab the green box and drag it over to about here and then we'll just drag the text over and then we can do the same with the bottom so we'll grab this box and drag it and then the text and we could have it just like that and this here looks amazing just as well whether we use any of these images or not now a word of warning anytime you use images from another website um, you do have that risk of copyright issues the reason that I showed you these images is because um, you can't really tell who these people are so it's going to be a lot better to use these a lot less risk of anything happening for me I personally would not be afraid to use any of these images on my thumbnails but if you don't want to take that chance you don't have to you can always make your thumbnails look just like this without using that and of course you can always add your own image too which is what I do with the majority of my videos I'll come over to uploads you can see I have my image here I would just select it and I can put this anywhere I want to I could put it down here on the corner even and then you are done so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and now let's do one more example so let's say you're in the industry of possibly traveling what you could do is you could come over to photos and I think I've done a search for this earlier maybe not uh, type in beach and you can see there's a lot of great free photos we can use here of the beach let's just use I like this one because it has some green in there too and so we're gonna right click on this replace the background and then we're going to click on this image adjust and then we're going to blur it a little bit but we can still make out what it is and then you would just adjust the colors to make it fit to whatever you're trying to do so on this would click on the box and would come up here and maybe change this to let's say let's move this all the way up here and we're going to change this text to read say that and then okay and then maybe change this background yellow to a different color to maybe purple that way it really stands out now if you want to change the fonts all you have to do is click on the font you can come up here and you can change that you can change the size of it the color of it some of the fonts allow you to change whether it's bold or not this here just simply changes whether it's whether all the letters are in uppercase or not and then this here is pretty um, pretty important it's a spacing so if you click on it it lets you adjust the spacing of the letters to more or less and then the line height which allows you to spread the distance between each line now once you're done doing that down here you can see the box under call us first if I click on that and come up here to this little box here for transparency that's what allowed me to set this box to where it's just a bit transparent so you can kinda of see through it and you can adjust that 
So if you didn't want to see through it, you would just move it all the way up and it would be a solid white collar. Otherwise, we could just drag it down and we'll make it so where you can partially see through it just like that. Now when you're done and you're ready to download it, all you have to do is click on download. Just leave it as a PNG file size. It's going to be 1280 by 720, which is the size you want it for a YouTube thumbnail and you're going to click download and it's going to download it to your computer and you don't have to pay anything for it and then you just save it wherever you want it and you're done and of course they're going to ask you if you want to upgrade they're going to constantly ask you if you want to upgrade but remember you don't have to it will give you access to a lot more images uh, a lot more things in here that you can do if you want to do other things than just YouTube thumbnails but this is a great way just to be able to create really nice looking YouTube thumbnails uh, without having to spend a fortune on them or buying any kind of special software and learning it. This is super simple to use, especially if you just take this template that's below this video and go ahead and use it to edit it. So that's it for this video on how to create a YouTube thumbnail. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos. I'm sure you'll find those just as useful as this one. And if you have any questions, leave them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.